So New York and Los Angeles, these are two of the hub cities people talk about when they're talking about the film industry and the TV industry. And as most of you guys know, I don't live in New York or Los Angeles. I live outside of Philadelphia. I've actually lived in this area for the majority of my life. And there's a few reasons why I decided to kind of stay in this area for now, even though I'm still working in the film industry. Now, this doesn't mean I'm going to stay in this area forever. I could definitely see myself moving, not necessarily to the New York area, but to the Southern California area in the future. First of all, the notion of if you work in the film industry or the TV industry or any video production, you have to live in Los Angeles and New York is true to some point, but in this day and age, it's not necessarily where you need to be. There's plenty of other places that you can be. Honestly, everywhere needs video now. And because video is so mobile, you can make video anywhere. And there's, you know, clients that need video everywhere you go. You can do YouTube, obviously everywhere, and you can make films wherever you go. It's just for cities like Los Angeles in New York, a lot of bigger name companies that do films that you see in the movie theater, you know, big budget stuff. Most of that stuff is still done in the New York and Los Angeles area. But you know, there's other cities that are starting to do that as well. And there's a lot of independent and smaller productions and all different types of productions really happening everywhere. So I think the, the main reason why I haven't moved to one of those locations is is frankly just because I don't really like either of the cities. I don't like Los Angeles that much. And I don't like New York that much. I've been to both of them several times. With New York, it's just too crowded for me. It's loud, it's hard to get around. Weather there in the winter is very cold. It's a little too much for me. And it's it's too much city for me. I'm not a huge city person. I like I do like cities, but I don't love cities that much. And New York is just kind of endless city. A lot of people really like it. And when I talk about these areas, I know that some of you guys out there might live in some of these locations. Like everyone's different. Everyone has different opinions about things. And it's just my opinions. And it doesn't mean that your any of your opinions are wrong or anything. You know, there's different places for different people. New York is just a bit too crowded. Even if I were to work in New York, I probably wouldn't live want to live in New York City itself. But the problem is if I were to work in New York, I have to live, you know, right outside of New York City, and then commuting to New York City is a nightmare in itself. And then in Los Angeles, you know, I do like Los Angeles more than New York City, just because I love California and I like Southern California a lot. But the city of Los Angeles itself is just so sprawling and it's just very different in so many places. There's either really, really nice places in Los Angeles or there's really, really bad places in Los Angeles. There wasn't a lot of middle in between in, in, in the city part itself. There's a lot of nicer areas maybe around Los Angeles, you know, sort of toward the north and south of Los Angeles, uh, but like in the city itself, for example, Hollywood, like I've been to Hollywood a couple times. It's honestly not that great. It's very touristy. It's a bit run down in places. There's a lot of people, you know, it's very loud and overwhelming. It's not somewhere where I would want to like settle down and live. And there's a neighborhood, there's really ritzy neighborhoods like Beverly Hills where things are just, you know, so ungodly expensive. Both of these cities are just very, very expensive for themselves. And if you're gonna live in either of these cities, unless you're making like a boatload of money, you're gonna be in a pretty like small apartment or a small house. And then that's not the type of, you know, house or living scenario I wanted to be in. And, and plus Los Angeles, you know, the traffic is just terrible getting anywhere. It seemed like when I was there, if I wanted to get anywhere in the city, it was at least a 40 minute drive, even if it was only like maybe 10 miles. The second reason I didn't move to Los Angeles or New York is because I don't really want to be a cog in this huge wheel, which is the film industry. And this is sort of a concept that I felt in one of the previous um, colleges that I went to. It felt like they were a college that was a factory of workers where they train you up on, you know, learning a very specific area in filmmaking. And then they would send you out to New York and Los Angeles to just be a cog in this huge, film industry wheel where you kind of go in, you only know one specific area, you only work in that one specific area and you work your way up in that one specific area without doing anything else throughout your career. When you do work that way, you do have the opportunity to be on bigger projects and maybe higher budget films. It's really a specific career path that you need to be very interested in doing. It's very competitive and it's very repetitive and everyone just sort of works sort of like factory workers to get these films done. And that's that's not the really the way that I like to make films. Obviously it's needed in some aspects. It's just not how I wanted to go about in the industry. I wanted to be able to have a little bit more creative freedom with what I'm doing. I wanted to have some freedom to do, not just editing or camera work or something, do a little bit of everything. It's not typically the type of experience that you'll get 
when you go to Los Angeles or New York, unless you're working in YouTube or independent films or for you know a smaller production company. But as I said before, for companies like that and groups like that, those don't necessarily have to be in Los Angeles or New York. And the third reason I didn't move to one of these cities is simply because I like being where I am right now. All my friends are here, you know, my family is here, and I like being around those people more than I probably would like being in either one of those cities. Unless it was maybe like the biggest opportunity in my life, I don't see moving to a city that I don't like to be a better decision than being in a place where I'm surrounded by my friends and family, you know? And of course, things like, you know, the company I work for right now is located around here and CK Productions is located here. So those are things that are really important to me in my life right now, and I wanna to continue to do those going forward for a while. And honestly, the area I'm in right now, the Philadelphia area, the film and video production industry there has is, is grown a lot over the past few years. Honestly, there's a lot of pockets, you know, throughout the United States that are growing a, a bit more. Atlanta's growing a lot, Austin's growing a lot. But I would say if you're deciding in a location to be if you're working in the film industry, it's good to be in or somewhat near a major city because major cities in the suburbs around them have a lot of demand for video. No matter where you are, you wanna be somewhere where there's a lot of industry, there's a lot of companies around, and there's a lot of people just doing stuff. You don't wanna kind of be in the middle of nowhere. You know, like I said, I probably don't see myself in this area in the long, long term. But for now, it's you know, it's working for me. I'm growing as a person, I'm growing CK Productions, I'm growing with the company that I'm working with right now. Everything's kind of working for me and for my timeline. And that's what you have to do. You kind of have to look at yourself and see like, what do I want? And where can I do it and how can I do it? I don't like the idea in this film industry of having to drop everything, drop your entire life, drop everything you've had going for you in a certain area and just move to this new city because that's just how, what you do. I, it's something I wish could change a bit in the industry and I think it is changing a bit, but it's changing pretty slowly. So that's basically it. My voice is kind of tired, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. If you have any more questions about this topic or anything kind of related in the film industry, be sure to comment down below. And as always, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Videos twice a week, Thursdays, Sundays. Instagram's a thing, check it out if you want, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye everyone.